Good morning from dreary, dreary Dublin. So I'm gonna be on the bike in about 20 minutes from now. I've deliberately left myself no time for breakfast this morning. Today, I'm gonna to let you know why breakfast isn't necessary and in some cases how it can even hurt you. When you wake up in the morning and you're rushing out the door and you stuff a bit of food down your gullet half an hour, an hour before you run out the door, this isn't the energy that fuels you for your session. To understand why, we need to have a look at how energy is made. Energy is made in a mitochondria. These are the engine rooms of our muscles. Plus, for anyone who likes drinking coffee in the morning, there's a nice little added benefit to drinking coffee first thing in the morning, especially on an empty stomach. So you know what? Time to get their calf. Bay Cafe is just behind me. It's my local cafe. They also do a class Americano, so yeah, pretty nice way to start the day. So let's get in and get it. Uh, can I grab a Americano, please? Or take you in for a few? Uh, I'll have a hair, please. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There's a few stories of bikes going walking around Dublin, so we've improvised this little cable lock. You know, it's not going to stop somebody who's prepared and actually has something to cut the lock, but it's going to stop the opportunist who just wants to grab a bike and run off. Great idea if you haven't got one. Throw it in the little saddlebag, throw it in the handlebar bag. So the fuel born by the mitochondria, it comes from two sources. Firstly, it comes from fats. Even the leanest athletes, we have abundant fat stores. And secondly, it comes from carbohydrates. But these carbohydrates, they're carbohydrates you ate yesterday, they're the carbohydrates you ate the day before, and they're stored in the muscle in the form of glycogen. The reason we don't get to use the carbohydrate we ate this morning, it's actually quite simple. It's a transit issue. Think about it for a second. The carbohydrates we eat this morning have to get broken down into glycogen. They've got to get transported to the muscle and then the mitochondria has got to burn them for energy. There's just not enough time for all that to happen. I'm not saying you should skip breakfast every single morning. What, I'm do, what I am saying is, if you're a bit stuck for time and you happen to skip breakfast, it's not the end of the world. You can still go and ride your bike. We've got about 45 to 60 minutes of glycogen stored in our muscles. After that, we need to replenish it. So make sure you're bringing snacks with you on the bike to avoid that very uncomfortable bonking sensation. So you might have heard at the moment, a lot of World Tour teams are using words like ketogenic and fat adapted. Teams like Sky, or Ineos, sorry, and Lotto. They're talking about it a lot. What this means is having access to fat as an alternate fuel source to carbohydrates. So our stomach can hold about 60 grams of carbohydrates. 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour. So if we want to supplement this, the best way to do it is being able to tap into our fat stores. So one of the big reasons for skipping breakfast in the morning, it's to allow us to improve our ability to process fat as a fuel source. When we have carbohydrates in the morning, we switch on insulin and that stops us tapping into fat as a fuel source. So the good news for all you coffee drinkers, there's evidence to show that a black coffee on an empty stomach first thing in the morning can help the metabolization of fats as an energy source. So drink up. Mm -hmm. 